Well, every corner you turn, you can spot an art sculpture in Bemidji. We're so used to seeing it that it's easy to miss when one is gone. That's what happened to the iconic buck sculpture at the corner of Woolen Mills on 3rd and Irvin. Sarah Madison explains how Busby Big Buck was stolen sometime last week. Quite stunning that, um, that it just completely disappeared because it was a deliberate action. Bemidji Woolen Mills owner Bill Batchelder noticed the Busby Big Buck sculpture was missing Friday night. This is the latest photo taken next to the buck on Thursday. Officials believe the sculpture was stolen sometime between Thursday night and Friday morning. I know it snowed um, after midnight on Thursday, so it had to happen after we had closed, which was 5.30, and before the snow started because when I went out there, um, after I noticed, discovered it was gone, there was a clean cover of snow on the rock. Batch Elder says the way the sculpture was dismounted shows how the theft was premeditated. It was deliberately unbolted, so somebody had to know and have the correct size wrench because those bolts were like about an inch, and there was four of them on each leg. The buck sculpture is about six feet tall and weighs more than 200 pounds. It would take at least two to three people to dismount it. It took three of us to set him up there the day, the day that it was installed about five years ago. And that's why we believe there have been more than one individual involved in the theft of it. The buck is part of the Bemidji Sculpture Walk, but unlike the other sculptures that get rotated out, this buck has been a permanent piece in the community for five years. And the current price tag is about $10,000. We're keeping an eye on the pawn shops. We'll also check um, local websites, Craigslist, Facebook, places where people put stuff up for for sale. It's more than just a deer and it's more than just it. It's a statement of the, the heart of the downtown the, and, and the health of the downtown. So far Bemidji police have no open leads and made no arrest in this case, but it's still very early to tell what may come up. Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. Batch Elder is part owner of the sculpture and is offering an award, a reward of $500 for the prosecution and safe return of Busby Big Buck. If you have any information about the buck, you're urged to call the police or the woolen mills. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.